Hey guys, welcome back. Daku here. Uh, continuing our let's play of Legend of Dragoon. Uh, last we heard, we are now heading on our way to Helena Prison. We made our trip home back to Celeste just to find out that our town has been destroyed and the only person that they kidnapped was Shana, our childhood friend. So now we're on our way to Helena Prison to go break her out and rescue her. So there's a red triangle there above my head. That's because, well, that happened. When you see a red triangle above your head, you're either in an enemy territory or you're about to be attacked. And that's exactly what just happened here. Um, I'm gonna, these are pretty basic enemies, so I'm not going to really show them off to you guys. Uh, very simple to beat. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this out. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna cheat and use a cheap heal over here by guarding most of the time after I take out the uh, assassin bird. But I'll see you guys when I'm done. Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, just small battles like that, I'm not going to really uh, keep them in the video. If they're a battle that has something to do with what's going on story-wise, then yeah, I'll keep it in even if it's a small battle. Probably will just do some slight commentary therein. Um, but stuff like grinding, I'm just not going to bother. I'll show you guys some... Uh, rare bosses when I do come across those. Or sorry, not rare bosses, but rare monsters. That do tend to drop some uh, pretty good stuff. And I'll also go over how to beat those things as well when you see them. But for now, we're just gonna make our way through this through this uh, maze. And I'll see you guys after this fight. Okay guys, welcome back again. 
so many of these fights. This game actually used to be highest graphics that there were, and it's so funny to see him now all blocky and clipping and stuff, man. Watch this, watch this part. Look at Dart's top head. Boom. Gone. fights in. Um, so you guys haven't seen these two monsters before. I might as well go ahead and talk about the elements. Um, there are actually eight elements in this game. <coughs> Sorry. Still trying to get the frog out of my throat. Like I was saying, there's eight elements. We have fire, water, Earth, air, light and dark, man, I'm an idiot. Light and dark and lightning and non-elemental. And so you can actually tell what element a monster is by the color of the name tag. Goblin here is a fire because of red. Trent is earth brown. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take out the goblin here. I was grinding off screen, Dart is now level 3. You may have noticed that the health increased there at the bottom. One of the bad things about this game is that you kind of need to pay attention when you do level up. Simply because when you do, you don't get an increase of your current health, you just get the max health increased. For example, when I started off at level 1, out of 30 health, if I had 15, when I leveled up, I went up to level or 60 total health, but I only stayed at 15 total or 15 current health. And how often can I mess that up? <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, he's back to the elements. Um, oh, there's a road there. How have I not seen that? Anyways. <laughs> Um, each element is kind of weak to another. Fire is weak to water, and water is, some, for some reason, weak to fire. Uh, earth to air, air to earth, light and dark. The only two that don't kind of balance each other out is lightning and the non-elemental. And those two... Dang it. Those two ones don't really have any weaknesses, but that also means that they don't have any strengths either. Um, certain we weapons you can equip will uh, do even more damage uh, to certain elements or element types. Who's that Pokemon? It's Aerodactyl. 
Battle. Who designed this prison? I mean, why make it look like a giant head floating in the water? His chin is the bridge. But it looks like we've got our way in now. We just gotta catch up with that. Come on. Come on, Dark, let's move. We gotta catch up with that cart before it takes off. Uh, you might see this little green arrow here. Green arrows like that on the map just basically show doorways or paths, usually. And so. Don't worry about them. Yeah, why such a big boulder? Um, don't freak. Uh, I forgot which button to push. <laughs> When the uh, the yellow exclamation mark shows up, you want to push X. Those are pretty much like a quick time kind of thing. Um, sometimes you have to have a very quick reaction time to it. Other times you uh, you can t you have a little bit more of space, a little bit more of a window of opportunity. But I remember back when I first started, I had no idea what button to push. It just showed up, and I was like, uh, 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 what do I do? And, uh, I always got caught by the guard, and they'd shoo me away from the prison. They chased me away, and I'd have to run. Looks like we successfully snuck it into Helena Prison. I'm gonna take a quick look around here before saving. Yeah, we made it. Uh, I'm gonna go up here, because I know what's up here. Yeah, no. Sorry Zelda fans, he doesn't hold the item above his head. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here as well, uh, before we explore Helena Prison. But uh, again, I'd like to thank, say thank you for watching this. Um, if you have any tips or tricks as to how I can improve myself to make it more interesting for you guys, uh, let me know in the comments below. going to go ahead and call this episode done here. Peace out guys and uh, I'll see you later.